Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about what relationship success looks like to you. First of all, there's no right or wrong answer to that. That that is very specifically as it as it you know occurs to you, as it appears to you in your mind, as as far as what you value in your life. And I want to talk with you a little bit today about the misconception that I see you know, with people all around me. I'm 39 years old. I've never been married. I've got no kids. I've got a great life. I'm very happy right now. But a lot of people around me seem to equate relationship success with just being married and having a family maybe at this point in life. And I get people all the time, oh, I feel so bad for you, Mike. You know, you're not married. You're this, you're that, you know, whatever. And it always it always makes me laugh a little bit on the insides. I mean, the, the people that say these sorts of things to me are, are folks that care about me and they mean well, and they, you know, they, they want more and better certainly for me in my life. But I know there's a lot of people in my generation. I know a lot of you guys and girls out there listening right now fall into the same thing. And, and we all have this way of, of thinking on these terms at times where it's like, Hey, if I'm not married and, and I'm in a different place in life right now, then, you know, hey, I, I have not achieved relationship success. I, I just want to share, like I said, my thoughts and my perspective on, on this with you guys. I do not define the quote unquote success in relationships as just being married or just having kids or just being anywhere at a certain age point in life. I define relationship success completely in a different way. I, I define that more in the regard of just having a quality person in your life that really, truly, deeply cares about you and takes care of you and treats you right and treats you with respect and is a good partner just in general and in an overall sense. I would way rather have just a person in my life like that, that is that sort of partner than just be married or just, you know, have any of these other check boxes in life ticked off, right? I think, I think most of us would agree about that, but I just wanted to issue this message to you guys and girls out there that are maybe in the same boat as me to not hang your heads and not get so down discouraged about that fact and almost be thankful that you're not in a marriage with the wrong person. You're not, you haven't had children with the wrong person. You You haven't had that life story because there's a lot of that that goes down in this present day and age. I don't have to tell you guys. I think we, there's no dispute about this. We all know the divorce rate. We all hear the horror stories. We know what goes on out there. And I just reiterate that just being married and all that kind of stuff, all those boxes checked does not define success. It does not define relationship success. And I'm only telling you guys this because this is just my perspective is the way that I live my life. But as I said, I, I will consider it a success when I have held out for as long as it takes. I don't care how long it is. And I've, I've mentioned this before on my channel previously. Like I would rather be single till the day I die, till the day I drop. I would rather go completely alone through this life than be with the wrong person. And when the time comes, if the time comes, if the right, the you know, person comes along through my life, then fantastic. That is, that would be amazing and awesome. That would be success much more so than it would be just being married right now. Because I'll tell you what, all the relationships and all the women that have came through my life since, you know, I started dating in my teens to now, they were all the wrong people. They all would have ended in a, in a bad manner. They were not good partners for the most part, a few here and there were, were good people. Actually, they were all good people at the end of the day, but we were just never, we were never set to make a healthy partnership and go through life together and and do all the things that, that would need to happen to be in unison and to be in a marriage and to raise a family and do all this sort of stuff together. Just that wasn't in the cards with any of the people that, that have came through previously. But as I said, this is just my perspective This doesn't mean you have to think on the same terms, but everybody gets so wrapped up in like, oh, society says I need to be married by this point in time. I got to have kids. I got to do this. I got to do that. No, guys and girls, you don't. What you need is to be in a healthy, caring partnership with another person. 
That's what you need. That's what success looks like. And as I said, I don't give a shit what the title is. I don't care about how many kids I may or may not have. I will know that I have achieved success and I will consider myself successful when I've got that opposing counterpart on the other side for me that is a good partner, that does actually care, that does actually know how to love, that does take care of me just as much as I take care of them. That defines success in my eyes. And I just want to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you folks out there are going through this stuff. I know a lot of you folks are lonely. I know a lot of you folks are hanging your head. You see everybody all around you and their their marriages. But just think about the how many of those people do you really truly think are very, very happy deep down and that truly married the right person or are truly in a good, healthy situation? I hope that's most of them. I sincerely hope that. But just knowing what I know about the world and the way things work, that's not the case. We all know that's not the case. There's a lot that goes on underneath the hood that you're never going to know about, you're never going to see. And that's up for up to them to, to deal with and, and hash through and, and whatever. But we're talking about you and your life. And I'm just reflecting with you guys and girls about my life. This is what I've experienced. This is what I'm holding out for. This is what I'm waiting for. This is what I'm what I define success as. And like I said, I don't care how long it takes. I refuse to settle on the wrong person just because I, you know, family and friends and society tells me I need to check some box, right? No, no thanks. I'm good. I'll wait. I'll wait for the right one, okay? Don't hang your head, guys and girls. Hang in there. Be optimistic. The world is stupidly, wildly abundant. There is a person out there for you. There is millions of people walk in the face of this, this earth that would do the things that I outlined to you and for you, that would love you, that would care about you, that would be a true partner, okay? They're out there. Don't get me wrong. Don't give up hope. Hang in there, but don't settle, okay? All right, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.